been a wonderful day and it promises to be a wonderful night. How's it going everybody? It's Rosie here for Astrophotography. Today is Valentine's Day. As a single man, today's another day. But what it is, has been, has been a beautiful day today. Absolutely wonderful. Barely any clouds, sun's been shining. It's actually been relatively warm. <laughs> but I've been excited all day because the forecast is crystal clear. We have a bit of a moon, a bit of a, like just after the first quarter moon going, and that's gonna be up most of the night, but I'm shooting in narrowband. So hopefully we're getting around that. This episode not brought to you by Paul Master. Hashtag no sponsor. So I've actually been beside myself all day because yesterday I got out under the skies for a bit and it, I got clouded out. And I wasn't able to use any of the images, but I've went back to SD4 guiding because for a time I was using pulse guiding through EQ mod, but my EQ mod had a nasty tendency of losing connection. So my guidance would go in, boom, ruined, absolutely terrible. So I'm back to SD4 and I got some of the actual, actually got some of the best gra graphs I've had. I'm actually I'm so excited I can barely talk. <sighs> Peace is the camera. I actually got seven minutes yesterday um, and this is an ongoing project I'm doing of the California Nebula, NGC 1499. I'm quickly losing light. I'll be uh, probably power line soon with the Pole Master. Yeah, so I have only an hour of H alpha data on, on the California Nebula, so I want to add to more to that, especially during the moon season. And then after that, when the moon has gone, uh, during the full moon period, I intend on hypertuning my mount because I'm not going to try and shoot during full moon. Let me stop you right there, Rose from Valentine's Day. That was a dirty, dirty lie. The mount is currently right there, distinctly still not hypertuned, and I did shoot through the full moon period because I was using my narrowband filter and I didn't notice any difference. So, what are you going to do about it? Back to future Ruz, or past Ruz. Yeah, after that, I want to go to RGB and probably get something maybe five, six hours of H alpha, five, six hours of RGB, and then make a, actually just see if I can get a good picture of it. Today is the California Nebula in H alpha. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sometimes you have days where it just feels like everything goes your way. And it's important to stay humble on those days, especially in this hobby, because the next thing to bite you is just around the corner. So far I've got just under three hours of hydrogen alpha, another, another three hours of hydrogen alpha data for my ongoing project. And that's great. I think today I've got some of the best power alignment I got. I tried to record a video of two different angles of doing the power alignment, but my second camera died. Well, the battery filled up, the, the card filled up. Yeah, about four hours of hydrogen alpha data. This is the longest project I've done now. It's basically one night. If I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd probably stay up so much. And then during the bet, the more agreeable moon periods, let's say, I want to go back to using my clipping Skytech CLS CCD filter and then get RGB and then so I can finally make, I probably want about seven to ten hours of RGB and then I want to make myself a HA RGB. I'm very excited about this project and then hopefully it's going to be one of the big hoorahs of my Canon 450D. A good night it feels great. Obviously, a good night feels great. The next thing's just around the corner that's going to bite you. For no apparent reason, something's going to break. And then you have to work that problem as well. Astrophotography seems like 90% solving problems. At least my journey at the minute. Like, is like 90% solving issues. 80% solving issues. 10% struggling to frame the target with a HAR filter on and using your guide camera to frame. And then the actual 10% of imaging. 
I'm going to carry on imaging and I'll share my work at the end. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have clear skies and all the best watches upon you. See you later.